Here's a problem that's very much like the last one. I've got nickel hydroxide. It's, of course, going to dissociate. Uh, it, it's not a very strong electrolyte, which means it's going to have a two-way arrow. It's going to dissociate to form nickel 2 plus and hydroxide minus. It then asks me what the amount of nickel 2 plus is that I have to add in order to get precipitation to occur. Here's what that means conceptually. If I'm adding a separate source of nickel 2 plus, I start throwing nickel 2 plus into this solution, I'm going to be jacking up the concentration of this. As that concentration rises, it's going to push the equilibrium back towards nickel hydroxide solid. Eventually, at some point, I'm going to be adding so much nickel 2 plus that it's going to push this backwards enough that this solid now precipitates out of solution. So that's really the question that it's asking. It gives me the KSP for this as being equal to 5.5 uh, .5 times 10 to the negative 16th. The KSP expression is going to be equal then to the individual uh, equilibrium concentrations of nickel 2 plus multiplied by hydroxide minus. And oh, I just realized that there are two hydroxide molar equivalents here, so I need to put a 2 in front of that. My apologies. That 2 is a coefficient here. It becomes an exponent right there. So um, it also tells me that I've got a pH of 8.7. Oh, man. pH is 8.7. Hmm. What can I do with that? Can I somehow figure out what the hydroxide concentration is going to be at pH 8.7? Can I do that? I think I can, but I have to use a couple of equations. Foremost is this. We've got this old equation that says that pH plus pOH is equal to uh, 14. I've got pH. Can I solve for pOH? Well, sure, I've got 8.7 plus pOH equals 14. pOH, then, is going to equal uh, 5.3. Why in the world do I care about that? Well, there exists an equation that tells you that the hydroxide ion concentration is equal to 10 raised to the negative pOH. And I don't even know if we've used that before. But I can uh, figure that out. 10 raised to the negative 5.3 is going to be equal to a number. And that number happens to be 5.01 times 10 to the negative 6. That's the concentration of hydroxide. So all I have to do is throw that number in here and then solve for nickel 2 plus. I solve for nickel 2 plus. That is answering the question because the question is asking me how much nickel 2 plus do I need in order to get precipitation to occur. So let's go ahead and do that. I've got 5.01 times 10 to the negative 6. Thrown in here for the hydroxide, I have to square that. And then I'll put x in here for nickel 2 plus, and I've got that equal to 5.5 times 10 to the negative 16th. This is what I'm trying to solve for. If you solve for x here, what that tells you is that whatever x comes out to be is the exact concentration of nickel 2 plus you need to get at this pH in order to get uh, exactly the value of uh, Ksp. Any amount of nickel 2 plus that's above that number will be too high and you'll cause precipitation of nickel hydroxide. So solve for x and just say any number above that number x is going to cause precipitation at this pH.